Now, do we have time? The creationist stuff, we really need time to get into it. Do we have time to do that, or maybe we should yeah, break? Yeah, we, we have a little time to do that. Because, you know, we need plenty of time for that. Well. Should we just get into it? Let's get into it. Last week, we talked about the ICR, which moved its organization, it's a graduate school, from California to Texas. And we mentioned that after moving to Texas, because they teach creationism in science class, that they are no longer allowed to give out a master's of science. It makes perfect sense to me. And Lewis and I got into a discussion about, well, what is a theory? Do we have to accept any theory as, as, uh, as science? And do we have to therefore award degrees? Is that a, a, a good assessment? Right. We were arguing what is a scientific theory, basically. That's right. Well, people have been completely flipping out, particularly about Lewis's statements. This first, this first email... Let me read some of these. The emails piled up. Most of, them, most of them are angry about Lewis's comments about what is a theory. Here's one email. Please, Lewis, please go to Wikipedia or any other encyclopedia and look up scientific theory, please. And then please state in public in what you were wrong. Lewis doesn't know what a theory is. Bring, bring up the wiki page. Okay, and what do you want me to look up? Scientific theory, the wiki page. You know, I think we're going to get into a problem here because there's a difference between a scientific theory and a theory, right? I mean, I can have a theory that uh, of anything. Um, I, I don't know that this is going to get us anywhere, but here it is. The Wikipedia entry for a scientific theory. In everyday speech, the word theory is used as a best guess. In modern science, a scientific theory is a tested and expanded hypothesis that explains many experiments and fits ideas together in a framework. So this is absolutely right. There's a difference between just a theory in common language and a scientific theory. Right? Right. Okay. Now, I don't want to get too bogged down in this, but I want to get to a few more of these emails. You guys should really look up what a scientific theory is. Let them grant a degree. Who would hire a person with a creationism degree? Well, you know what? The problem is... When an employer goes to hire someone, if they see they have a master's of science, they may not necessarily look at the coursework and see that creationism is what's being taught, right? Right. Uh, th there's, no, there's no guarantee that that will happen. Now, we're going to have to just stick with this for a couple minutes, Lewis, because I have video from a documentary from a couple of years ago done by the BBC. This is from Dayton, Tennessee, and this is from a school that legally has to teach evolution but just about everybody believes creationism is the way. Take a listen. This is fascinating. Dayton's creationist inheritance spans the generations. The science teacher at the local high school shares the creationist views of his students. The law as it stands requires Joe Wilkie to teach evolution only. But it's a struggle. The young people of Dayton hold tightly to their belief in the Bible. Unable to deny the word of God to his students or himself, Joe Wilkie walks a thin line between science and religion. Creationists like to be lumpers. They like to put a lot of organisms together in a group. Evolutionists like to be splitters. I believe that I give the evolutionary view equal time, and I believe I give it a fair shake. Wait a minute, you don't even think it's a theory? Well, I mean, it's not really... I mean, basically, it's not been proven. I mean, we had to be put here, some, some supernatural thing. I mean, we couldn't have evolved from such a simple organism into what we are now. I mean, there's no way, the way that they think that it all started. I don't think God has to have evolution to make a world. I don't think a supernatural being has to use a natural process. All right, you got your supernatural, which would be God, and he actually, like, he said that, <laughs> he put us here and then put all the animals and plants and stuff to make us survive. How could I say to a student, your ideas are trash. Keep them out of this room. I don't want to hear them. We don't want to discuss that. Don't you know you're being one of those hick hillbillies believing all that religious stuff? I mean, I couldn't do it. We didn't like you ball from anything. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, <laughs> how can like an African-American person evolved from a white person. We're different skin. <laughs> How could an African American evolve from a white person? Now, hold on, I have to I have to clarify what I was saying last show. Okay. Cuz I don't think the listeners understood what I was saying. I don't think anybody did. Okay. Creationism does not mean the Bible. Creationism, okay, that's a one theory of creationism. Some people creationism just means that there's some divine creator. Sure. Okay, maybe someone, maybe some divine creator sparked the big bang. Right. Can you have creationism and evolution? Yes, of course. 
So creationism doesn't mean I think the Bible's right, I think the Quran's right, I think the Torah is right. Okay. It doesn't mean any of that. All right. I just need to I just needed to say you that. needed to get that off your chest. I need to get that off my chest. With this clip, I mean, this is this is being turned around. It, look, evolution is the one that isn't even a theory. I mean, the audience is going to have a field day with this. One of observation. I didn't know that the line between science and religion was that thin. I knew that the line between going from a hypothesis to a scientific theory to so-called proof has a gray area. I didn't know the line was that thin between science and religion. That that is to me the most interesting part of what we just heard. What would you say? I agree. You you agree that that's disturbing, or you agree the line is thin? The line is thin. You agree that the line is thin? It can be. I don't think it is. Well, now, okay, here we go. Not religion. See, religion is not the word. Creationism. Okay. Religion. But we're talking about science and religion here, not science and creationism. Well, I think creationism is a valid scientific theory. It's just as plausible as lots of those scientific theories for how the universe is created that have no data. Is it not? I, I don't know about that. I think our audience seems to disagree. Not that I believe in it. Okay, we'll be back after this. This is Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman. Midweek Politics is made possible in part by CSR Wire, the corporate social responsibility newswire at csrwire.com. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com. Thank you.